Hello, this is David Hanna with Paystubs. In this video we're going to show you how to edit an employee's pay statement while you're in the middle of entering your payroll data, getting ready, ready to preview it for accuracy. To get there, you'll obviously through your quick links, you may have this configured already, to go straight here to view all payrolls. And you can always get there through the menu bar from Manage Payroll, Manage Payrolls, and View All Payrolls. You'll need to go into the payroll that you want to work with, obviously through this button right here called the Payroll Prep Process. It takes you to the step-by-step -step process of getting your payroll data into the system and being able to preview it. There are a couple different ways where you can edit an employee's payroll information before you're done, uh, done with your work. You can go right here to Add Edit Pay Statements or Add Edit Batches. In this video, we're going to focus on the Add Edit Pay Statements area. Here you'll notice this list, your employee's first name, last name, uh, I have some other data here for the pay date, the employee's gross earnings, and net payment. Over to the far left, there are different icons. You can go straight to an employee's information to look at, look at something, and then hit your previous screen, like this. I'm in this employee's record here, looking at some of their detailed address, phone number, deductions, and pay rates. And then I can hit previous screen in the bottom center there, and go straight back to where I was. Also, for any particular employee, you see, for instance, Cheryl Teagues here has some data for gross wages. I can preview her pay stub with this icon, but uh, the gist of this video involves this button right here, View Edit Pay Statement. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. So you notice right now we already have 40, 34 hours in here for Cheryl's efforts for this pay period. Let's say Cheryl also took some time off. You can go right here to PTO in this sample company, it stands for paid time off. I can enter those hours that she took. Let's say she took one day off. I can enter the eight hours there and then simply click save in the bottom left corner. So now she has $76 here, which is her eight hours at a regular rate for PTO or paid time off. To preview this on her pay stub in the bottom center, I can simply click preview. Take a quick look here and we see the PTO paid out at the nine and a half dollar rate and eight hours of it. And that's it. They're all, that's all there would be to do to add paid time off for Cheryl. Let's take another employee for example. I'll click previous screen again. Go back to my list. Let's say Amanda Costanza here has earned a bonus for this pay period but nothing else. I can go to view edit pay statement right here. I can click on my drop down box I can go straight to the bonus. Notice it shows you earnings and the system will show you deductions that are available. I'm going to add a bonus and over to the far right all I need to do is type in the amount. Let's give Amanda a thousand dollar bonus and then click save in the bottom left corner. I get my little thumbs up up here. I'm all done with that one. I can click previous screen, go back to my list here and now you notice Amanda has a thousand dollars of gross wages there. There's her net payment. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. This is my salaried employees in this particular company. For Thurston Howell, we need to add a deduction for him because he broke some things here at work. And so we need to deduct, say, $100 from this paycheck. Just a one-time item. I can go to View Edit Pay Statement. I can go right here again to this Earning Deduction Code into the blank areas here, which is where you can add additional lines. Click the drop-down. I can go down here. We'll choose a standard deduction for him there and we can simply enter a hundred dollars and click save right there. There's also a utilities button here when you're in this screen. Let's say I want to let Thurston know on his pay stub just exactly what that hundred dollar deduction is for because it is a one-time deduction. I can click on utilities, I can go right up here to options, and you'll notice if I scroll down a little bit here's a pay stub note field where I could type hundred dollar deduction is for broken equipment. Period. Click apply changes here and then click save in the bottom left corner there. Now we're going to preview his pay stub. You'll notice when I get down here towards the bottom this information and announcements area on his pay stub shows the note that I left and it only shows up on his pay stub. I'm going to close this window, click on previous screen, make any other changes I need to make and when all those are done in this Add edit pay statements area. I can click previous screen and I'm right back to my payroll prep process. And from there I'll want to close the payroll. I want to review my totals, make sure everything's okay, and then simply click finalize payroll and I'm done. Thanks for your time today. Hope you have a great day. And uh, this again is David Hanna with Paystubs.